Hello, welcome to Color All the Things with me, me, Melissa. Um, I'm in Magical Dawn. Magical Dawn. The the copy I didn't mess up. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know this, but so I bought a second copy because I was doing the nameplate page in here. I was doing Neo 2s and some whole binds and I was going and I was I was kicking it out and I was happy with it. And then I don't know what I was thinking and I put that freaking red. And it just like destroyed the color. I was so sad. Guys, I was so stinking sad. I was so sad. It was a terrible color. The The yellow was a terrible yellow. The red was a terrible red. And I'm just like, I have now ruined my picture. I ruined it. And then I had terrible handwriting. And I ruined it. I did. It was ruined. Like, I like all this part. But, like, that. Why did I do that? people. I don't know. But so I had to buy another copy because I really, really, really wanted to color that page. Um, <laughs> and I, I've had it for a while. I think it's, it's, what did I, I did the, I did this lady in here, the owl. I did her in this copy. So I've got another one of these I can color too. Uh, but anyway, I am now fixing my mistake. Because it's okay to have them. See, this is why I buy multiple copies of books. Because it's okay to make a mistake. But, oh, this color. I just love this color. Um, so, I'm mixing up a whole bunch of stuff in here. I'll try to tell you guys what some of this was. So, the, um, the gold. I did all of the gold with polychromos. And then I used... Let me look here. It was Van Dyke Brown. Oh, I never remember the name of this one. Brown Ochre, Naples Ochre, and Ivory. So Van Dyke Brown, Brown Ochre, Naples Ochre, or Dark Naples Ochre, and Ivory. And that's what I used for all of the gold. Every last bit of the gold are those four colors. Um, this was also polychromos and it was um kaput mortum violet red violet and light magenta right was it light yeah light light magenta no pink matter lake it was pink matter lake anyway so there's a couple different and then i used like a the the yellow out of my luminance. Um, this I just did in Pablo's with like it was grass green, yellow green, light green, lime green, and white. This I did with Pablo's and it was malachite green, um, opaline green, turquoise green, jade green, and white. And that was the same in here. And then the little dot thingies, I actually took, oh, let me grab it. I took my pearl colors and I used that, that really light gold, the fine gold and the pearl colors. That's not gonna... So that's what I did for all the little dots. So it's got a little bit of shine on it. So if I can... I don't know if you can see it, especially in here, it really glows, especially with the white around there, it really glows. So that's what I've done there. Um, and I'm currently working on this purple bottle. And I plan for all of the like smoke coming out to be this blue, green, and purple out of the bottles. That's my plan. And then I lined out a place for all this to sit on. So this will be like a brown down here and the background will be a dark indigo-ish blue. 
dark blue. That's my plan, and I'm sticking to it. Dang it. Because I was mad. I was mad, and I would look back at it going, oh, I can fix it. And I'm just like, no, I don't want to fix it. I don't want to fix it. I don't want to mess with it. So the purple, <laughs> the purple I'm doing here is the aubergine. These are Pablo's. Purple, violet, light purple, and white. So I've been taking the white to do a very big shine. You can tell around this crystal, I want it to look like it's glowing, and also around all the stars. So in here, I will do the same effect that I did up here as well as over here. So I should probably really remember what colors I used. Um, <laughs> uh, so that's my plan. I'm sticking to it. I'm also using a whole lot of white gel pen. Lots and lots of white gel pen. All over the place. Everywhere. So I'm going to zoom in and we'll finish up this little bottle and chat. And I'm sorry. Oh, come on. Move. I know I was supposed to stream today and then I didn't stream today. <sighs> Let's see. I'm using the the light purple. I didn't stream today. I was going to and then I had an ortho appointment only to go to the wrong freaking office. When I tell somebody that, hey, I'm not from around here so you can tell me North Raleigh and that's not like really going to mean a lot to me because technically I'm in North Raleigh. And you, you say, oh, you know, it's, it's, it's just over here. And I'm just like, uh-huh. And I'm not in a position, and I tell you, I'm not in a position to look it up on a map to know for sure. And you're just like, oh, trust me. Come to find out, it's actually half hour away from my house on the other side of town. I'm just saying. If I tell you I'm not from around here, trust me and help me out, yo. Anyway, Halloween's almost here. Are you guys excited? I am. My kids are. They were actually supposed to have um, Halloween off, right? But then the hurricanes came and they had to have a hurricane makeup day and so they had to go to school. That really upset the neighbor boy. <laughs> Like, he told his mom yesterday on the way home from school, he's like, I ain't going to school tomorrow. <laughs> She's like, the hell you're not. <laughs> and poor Kaylee, she's looking at me and I'm like, honey, you had to go to school on Halloween last year. I don't know how they do it here. <laughs> but, you know, Halloween's not a holiday like that. It's not Thanksgiving. It's not Christmas. It's not Rosh Hashanah. I'm sorry, guys. Rosh Hashanah? Hmm. Nope, I'm not going to look that up. I'm just, I'm waiting to see if work calls me in. That's why I'm doing this, because I have, like, I have anxiety over not, I'm, words, words and things, things and words. It's been so flaky with work. Like, I went in for one day last week. I did a whopping six hours last week. And it's just, it's so... Every day I'm having to wait to know if I can go into work, if the, the work has been approved, if they've gotten the okay to start. And it's just, it's freaking annoying now. And then I got hit by scammers. Oh my god, that was super annoying. One of those, if it's too good to be true, it probably is. And then they were like, you know, I, I, I can't call you right now. Let's go on Google Hangouts. I'm like, Google what? So I go on Google Hangouts. And they're like, yeah, you know, you really look like a good fit for the job. The pay is, the pay, like they said, was like stupid high. I mean, just like. My husband almost makes that much, and, you know, it was crazy high. And 
they were on Google Hangouts. See, so I'm going to grab the white now. And then they started saying something like, well, we're going to have to send you a check for office supplies because uh, the company doesn't have enough computers. So we want you to build your own office there. And we're, we'll send you it. We'll cut you a check for it. And I'm just like, you wait, you do what now? And so I may have I may have got a little pissy. So if somebody offers you a job and the only way they can contact you is through Google Hangouts, and then they offer to cut you a check for office supplies, walk away because I did some research um, as they were talking to me I was googling the the company you know you do you do stuff like that when you're doing a job you you google the company name and you make sure it's a valid place make sure it's a real place and it's real people and it seemed real I mean there's there was another company by the same name and so it was it was kind of funky so anyway now I'm going to grab my Jelly Roll in white. My Jelly Roll in white. Get it, get it working. And come in and white out. I don't want to go into the dark area, so I just want this outer lighter edge so what I'm doing is having the the um, this crystal be kind of like the light source ish so you see this one goes this way this goes this way this goes this way not that you can see because I'm zoomed in and that was really silly Melissa it's been a long time since I've been on a video so please excuse me. Anyway, don't accept the money. It's a scam. Somebody said I found I found something that said, you know, they had they didn't realize they'd accepted the the money. They had uh, like sent an image of a check and had the guy do the checking where you take the picture and the deposit it and. Uh, it ended up being a fraudulent check. And it held up the, their bank account for 10 days. All this funky stuff. And that's just really super annoying. And I hate, I hate stuff like that. So I was messing with the scammer uh, this morning because they messaged me back. Because I didn't let on that I knew. I was just curious, like, if it was going to head in that direction and it started heading in that direction this morning. I was like, look, I know what you're doing. I know this is a scam. Are you in trouble? Like, cause you know, when you would think that the people doing this, you have the, the head scammer guys telling all these low people what to do, you know? And I'm like, look, are you in trouble? And she actually responded and she goes, I do need help. And I'm like, okay, where are you? And she, she gave me this city name and I looked it up, but she had said whatever, California. So I looked it up because I don't know every city in the United States. Um, I'm looking for a sandy color here. So I don't know every cut. I don't know every city in the United States. So I looked it up. It was in Dubai. Like okay. Like look. So I started sending. Uh, I started sending her. Um, oh, I think I want to do the ochre. No, no. I want to do polychromos. Polychromos has better browns than uh, Pablo's do. Um. I started sending her 
embassy numbers. Like here, if you're in trouble, contact this embassy. Uh, you may not want the U.S. embassy, so here's the number to the British embassy. And so I started like, and then she blocked me. And then she called. She called my phone while I was driving to the doctor's appointment that was in the wrong spot. And I'm just like, oh my God. But I was driving, and I don't ever answer my phone when I'm driving, but I, I did the reverse look up when I got home and it was for the the company so that was my day so I'm gonna grab nougat so for the sand in here I'm gonna grab that nougat out of polychromos and raw umber I think I think yeah maybe a little burnt umber for the dark so let's do that so let's let me get this over here so I'm not trying to so here's the burnt umber Come on. Burnt umber. Nougat. What did I say? Raw umber. That's Beaster. Beaster or want raw umber? I want raw umber. Raw umber. Okay. Oops, I'm sorry. So, yeah, that was my morning. And then I'm waiting on phone call for work and all that fun stuff. Okay, so I'm going to assume that this goes right down into here. Um, but this is going to be a different color. And probably so will that. So you know what I want to do? Because, because I think that sand in there, I'm actually going to take... I bought these um, pit pens for my journaling, my bullet journal. And this one is a, a SX, XS, extra small, right? I don't know. It can go either way. They don't have a font that, like, really tells you which way is up and which way is down. But I also have, like, I bought, I bought a four-pack. That had the small, fine, medium brush, but then I bought this this one separate because I didn't want to. I bought a brush, even though I have a brush from my Pit Artist pens. I didn't want to use it for lettering because it does bend the bend the brush nib. So I bought this for lettering. So I'm gonna take my all of that to say I'm gonna take this little little one. Ooh, I might need it small. Let me go. It's a little small. Um, I love this pen. I love this pen. And I love my bullet journal. I might have to do a flip through at some point if anybody's interested. I'm going to take that burnt umber. Oops, hit it with my hair. I'm sorry. Um, because these, these pens are waterproof. Finally found a waterproof pen. Oh my god, trying to find a waterproof pen. Seriously, it was stupid ridiculous trying to find a waterproof pen. Where did I do the testing? I did it here. So I've got the, the Pit Artist. The Tombow, and they're the, they're the Fudinowski, Fudinowski pens. They, it's a calligraphy pen, so this one's got a, is this the, that's the hard nib. So it's the hard nib that is waterproof. The soft nib is not. Um, the Uniball Signo did nothing. My micro lines are good. My U brand, which is. This funky little um, brand from Target, believe it or not, um, it's just a it's just a fine liner, and it's from Target. And I got like a pack of three one time, and then I had a SEPA, and I don't know, I don't know what I did with that. I put it somewhere. So yeah, that's all, and then all of my fountain pens which is this is my new my new fountain pen 
which I'm actually going to use to write my name in here. So let me go on and do that. Let me do that. So this is my new fountain pen. It's Conklin Durograph. I bought a size extra fine nib. Un unfortunately, the nib isn't actually extra fine. Uh, it writes wider than a medium nib I have, which is really, really stinking annoying. So I'm going to pull this down and I'm going to start writing my name. I like writing in all caps I have found. It is it is my favorite way to write letters. But I'm excited for Halloween. What do you are you guys doing anything for Halloween? Taking kids out? That was a terrible S. Excuse me while I erase this. I didn't leave myself enough room. You guys taking kids out, going out for yourself, having a party? What you doing? What you doing? Tell me, tell me, tell me. I had to go buy uh, candy yesterday. My kids were like, Mom, we don't have any candy. And I'm like, I know, I'll go buy some. So they're like, no, we need it now. I'm like, honey, but this was over the weekend. I'm like, but, like, you're not... We're not going trick or treat. Now look, I've started making it. I'm gonna not even know how to spell my name. It's not even again. Um, they're like, well, we didn't. We need it. I'm like, why? It's not even. Like you got got some time, kids. So they were freaking out. So I had to go buy. I bought a whole bunch. I always buy a lot. Cause so here's the thing. If I buy a lot of candy now. I will be able to go months without buying a piece of candy. And you know how expensive candy is. And I only eat like one piece a day. Either I eat it for lunch or eat it after the kids go to bed. So there you go. Now I'm going to take my kneaded eraser. Um, and... I'm going to need it because I've actually been using it a lot lately. I need to buy a new kneaded eraser is what I need to do. <gasps> no, no. What I need to do is use the part of one. Where is it? Where is it? <gasps> where is it? I had a piece of one. Where is it? Oh, come on. Really? Well, I think you're a snot bucket. Whatever. Fine. Fine. I had one. Now I'm just kind of like, I'm not like rubbing it out. I'm kind of just like picking up some of that. This is another reason I left this section really untouched because I knew I was going to do this. So now I'm going to take my beautiful, isn't this gorgeous? It's just pretty. It's just, it's not even, this isn't even the true color. It's such a greener blue. Turquoise. Why is the color off? The white balance too funky. No. I don't know why the color is so off. Because it looks way bluer. Because this is supposed to be more of a turquoise and so is this. I don't understand. There's a, more green in this than it's showing on there. Anyway, let's see. If I bring my white light, my LED light, does that show better? No, it's still going to show blue. Oh, what's up? Maybe it's just me. Sorry, guys. Ding. All right, so... My fountain pen, I have it inked up with the turquoise ink. Um, it, they call this posting where you can put it on the back. 
and it posts and it won't fall off or anything but it makes it super heavy on the back end and so I don't like it so I just put it off to the side how do I want to do this oh good job Melissa and then you just like make a whole bunch of uh, funky lines I hope the ink doesn't bleed through. Oh well. I really wanted like a thick line on one side. That was a bit ridiculous. I see it actually almost looks like an extra fine on here. How annoying. Do that faux calligraphy. Sorry, concentrating. Can it bleed? No. Check it. Oh, yeah, I did. Just a little bit. Just a, oh, you can't see that. Just a dot, like right there. That's it. Perfect. Perfect. Let's go back to the sands of time. How do I want to do this? I don't know. Whatever you guys are doing for Halloween, I hope you have fun or enjoy a night in or, you know, whatever. What else? See, right? around where that highlight is. I want to keep it the lightest. I'm actually going to pull my white. My white has been helping me a lot to keep highlights where I want highlights because I can accidentally go in and, and really screw it up. <laughs> I'm really screwed up. Um, so I've been using the white. Like I did that on the on the stars up there on these stars I went around with white so keep the highlight and I've also been doing lots of these little circles lots of circles and keep it kind of light up over there And this will be light in here because there's less sand. For some reason I have the cha-cha slide stuck in my head. I blame my daughter. She loves that song first thing in the morning. Makes her happy, she says. Makes her feet happy. Oh, and I went because I mess because I messed up with my ortho appointment. I went ahead and did early voting. So that was that was raw umber. That's my lightest shade. Let's see, I'm just going to put all these in my hand because I'm going to flip around. This is Nougat. I did early voting today. It was packed, man. Not so bad that there was like a huge line and it took forever, but it was full. 
That place was full and hopping, which is amazing, especially for a midterm. I told the lady, I was like, this is the first year my kids aren't going to vote with me. Because usually it'd be at the girls' school, at Kaylee's school. That would be our, our voting place. And uh, so I would just take her, take them with me because they do two-hour delay if uh, the school is a polling place. Just for, for a little bit of safety and, and whatnot. Because having all those people going in and out at the same time kids are going in and out can lead to disasters. So they do two hour delay here for the schools that are polling places. Um, so that was nougat. This is the burnt umber, the darkest. I'm going to kind of scoot it in different places just to kind of give it a little non-conformity. Um, I was saying words. But anyway, so I, I begged the lady and she gave me two stickers for my daughters too. Like, please, I'm going to take some stickers. It's the first year they didn't get the stickers. Go in here too, just a little bit. Had a nice gentleman open the door for me. Had this poor lady in front of me. She, her daughter, her little baby was having a meltdown, and so she kept like. She was like, I need to go walk with her, but I, she was like, but I don't want to get out of line. I'm just like, well, go, go kind of walk and keep an eye and, you know, if you're within shot, I'll wave you over when, you know, we get close or whatever. And she ended up, I don't know what she ended up doing. I think she went and went further than I could see her. Maybe she left. I hope she didn't leave. But I've been there too, trying to have a wailing baby. Thankfully, when I had babies, the uh, the polling place was at this little church. And when I went, I was the only one. I don't know about thankfully, but it worked out. All right, so I'm going to take the white here. And do a little little highlighting. A little burnishing. Let's go back with some darker. I did not decorate for Halloween this year, and I feel like a total slob. <clears throat> not a slob, but I feel like a lazy butt for it. I just, I just haven't had the inclination. I've had other things on my mind. Uh, Nana Rimo starts on the Wednesday. Wednesday? What day is what day is the first? I should know this. It's Thursday. It starts Thursday. Nana Rimo starts Thursday. National Novel Writing Month. A bunch of crazy people. I'm trying to get a, like a shadow of that thing. Bunch of crazy people trying to write a novel in, in a month. It's super fun, though. Heading back to the nougat now. It's super fun. I love it every year I do it. I'm doing it again this year. But I'm going to go bonkers if I go back to work. <laughs> and they have as much work as she says they've got. And then I can't get any writing done. That's going to drive me bonkers. Now back to the raw umber. Raw umber. 
I know this is kind of close to the gold and I can't I can't really help it I'm sorry all right so that's that I'm gonna take my white again really get that highlight There's that. All right. I'll put my browns. Let's see. You get one there. You went there. You went there. I am going to bring, yeah, stick you in there, I'm going to use, I'm going to use, I'm going to use, I'm going to use the Pablo's for, I'm going to do the, the ground here. So I'm leaning towards like mahogany and brownish orange. I think, I think, yeah, maybe a little brown, no, brown ochre to go with it. What was that? Yeah, let's do, let's do mahogany. Where's my brown over here, not over there? Yeah, let's do mahogany and the brownish orange. And, and brown ochre. Brown ochre, there we go. Oh, nope, I don't have to sharpen anything. Yay! Okay, and then I'm also going to grab my white because I love the white. Also, so these are going to be whatever um, pearly like things I do all these. Uh, so they're not going to glow, but right around here is going to. So I'm going to go in with my white and I am pressing fairly hard. I'm doing medium to hard pressure um, because I really do want this to stay really bright. I'm sure somebody has done this before. I've only just figured it out uh, the other day. Um, so I don't know if there's anybody. You credit somebody if if you thought of it, but you know somebody else has done it, but you don't know who that somebody else is. What do you do? So like I said, I had somebody that was telling me I had uh, copied somebody when I had never seen that person's work before. Um, and granted, our, our pictures did look fairly similar. I mean, there were differences. But I don't know. I don't know. What do you do? See, mahogany is going to be my darkest. Nose itches. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I have some dark under here. Maybe mahogany is too red. Maybe I need to grab the brown. Well, work officially has work, so I'm headed to work. I love your faces. No, that's what April says. Um, 
I don't know. I don't have a catchphrase. I should work on that. Bye, guys.